Biwa Art Center, a home of all that is art, is celebrating Heritage Day in an elevating beat this year. They are hosting Live in the Beat, an event jam-packed with educational activities such as drumming workshops for beginners, intermediate and advanced, and a drumming and movement class led by renowned choreographer, then closes off with the community and school drum ensemble. Get ready to live in the beat. So here at Sibiko right now I work as a facilitator, a music facilitator. I work in mostly rural outreach programs at the moment and I also teach uh, a program called Artistic School as well as uh, Adopter School. So I'm going to program while I'm in Sibiko. So today I'll be facilitating African drums and, and percussion under the intermediate um, group. So when you do this, you use the your music went as I'm a, I'm a Africa. Most parents want nothing more than to see their child be the best version of themselves as humanly possible. Art has proven to be a fun and less painful way of achieving that. The idea of learning to play African instruments on my part to greatness is music to my ears. He's a drummer, so he started drumming at the age of two or three, you know, just playing with the drums and then, yeah. I'm a dancer, professional, and uh, 
Facilitator, äh, Workshop Facilitator, eine Dance Consultant, eine Drum, eine Percussionist as well. The message that I would like to give the kids is keep at it, follow what you follow your dreams and do what you love. If you do what you love, you'll never work for the rest of your life. I think dancing and let me say creative arts, I think they broaden they, they broaden the child's uh, mind because uh, you become active. You become active as you are learning, you become creative and you use your body to actually express and expand uh, your views and stuff. Yeah, basically that's that. Basically today what we are doing, we are celebrating music, we are celebrating percussions, we are celebrating the drums, so hence the festival is called Live in the Beat. So what we did, uh, a Kazata was a, a workshop in, in African dance, so it was a combination of all African dance styles from South Africa, from uh, West Africa, from East Africa, so we fused everything together to bring about one dance class. So it was also uh, a fusion of uh, African dances using modern contemporary dance styles. Kids that they should actually go out to, to art schools uh, to learn dance and uh, also be trained, to be properly trained in dance. Although it's, um, it's one of the difficult industries uh, we have uh, in South Africa to break through. You know? so, so it's very much uh, important for one to actually be backed academically. Uh, Um, I'm a student here at Civic Art Centre. I'm at the age of four. And then, yeah, I've been here until grade 2012. Then I went to TET, then I came back this year. So, yeah, I do drama, dance, um, marimba, drumming. Now, when I was four years old, to me, this was like school on Saturday, really. I was just like, we go to school Monday to Friday, why must I be here on a Saturday? Like, Come on, like to me, it's just uh, at home, they don't want you to go, go do something. And then, it's because I mean, you're only four, so you're like, you're very new, everything is new to you. So that's when I really started, yeah, falling in love and enjoying it. More than anything, it's bettered my self-esteem as a person, you know. Now you, I'm, I'm a very open person, you know, and I think that's because of the arts. Because I think, I don't know, when I'm out there, I'm very, I'm a bit calm. But the minute I'm on stage, the minute I see artistic things, I'm just like, this is home, okay. This is my space. So more than anything with me personally, my my confidence and my it's gone way up like sky high because of the arts. It's not for certain people, it's for everyone. I didn't know art would do such for me. I didn't know after school, I'm a check I would go and study arts for real, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's something that's on some no, I'm not like, Italian, like this week often I want Italian. No. Hear you, that's where you learn, you know. Because if you want to grow with your art or if it's something you're trying to do on the side, but they give you that platform to, to be exposed to everything. Muzazu to where you want to go, Archer, you know what I'm saying? So I think Sibika is, is it's quite it's it's quite the place if you really want to find yourself in terms of let's do something on the side. You'll never know. Look at me, I and I ended up studying it, so you'll never know where it's going to take you, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think it's for anyone specific. Don't sit at home thinking, oh, but. Buffoon talent, oh but I should be I should have done drama for no really anyone can come in and you'll never know what you leave with at the gate. Um Ikamalam Mutoza no Hans Bande. I'm a teacher here at Speaker Art Center. I teach African drama and percussions. Um the piece I did with my learners is um it's just that I wanted to take them to another level, you know. Um because that's because we've been doing stuff that are more education based and I wanted my learners to start being performers now. So I was getting material that was basically a lot of traditional djembe stuff but also fused with my contemporary feel, what I like, what my, the kind of music I like and it was just a fusion of this traditional thing and this fusion thing within the drums. Um, yeah, I must say art has made me a better person because um, I think I don't like expressing this as me personally. So um, I think when I'm in the arts, musically, I can express a whole lot of stuff. So I'm able to take out the zine of my chest while I'm performing or I'm creating something. So that's, 
that's the change that I'm so it means I'm be a lighter person. So you find that the person comes here not knowing what it's gonna be, but he's inspired. You find that he looks around, you find something to do in life. So most of the kids who come here actually not it's not that they're going to be artists or T V people. They, they, they get inspired, they get focused and think about life and take up pull up their sleeves and do something about their lives. We always hope that it's a place that everyone is, feels welcome and um, the ability to create and value within quite a firm structure. Today we have learned that drums are resonating African history and are the backbone of African music. They evoke the heart of our heritage and keep us grounded and true to our roots in these modern times. What a wonderful time to be African.